Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Stupid Player Naked Vay E, and welcome back to Steins Gate. Uh, we just found out that, of course, Suzaha has been lying to us. Well, not lying, I guess, but she's Don Titor. And um, I'm kind of interested to kind of go back and, and see, like, because we were talking with John Titor for a while. I kind of want to see if, like, the story, like, if she, like, changes personality when she, when I, t when I like, message her on that channel or something. I don't know. That explains why. Uh, shit's happening. There's still a big crowd outside, so we exit the building on the f side facing away from the station. Susan has calmed down a bit, so I start pressing her for answers. What do you mean you're John Titor? Exactly what it sounds like. I'm the John Titor who's been posting on that channel. I thought he was a guy. Suzuha smiles humorously, humorlessly. I fooled you. Guess my camouflage worked then. Who are you hiding from? CERN. The stories you posted, were they... True? Mostly. A few exceptions. It's those exceptions that bother me. So you came from 2036, and that satellite, that's your time machine. I was hoping you wouldn't find out. By my time machine, but my time machine went and broke on me. I really screwed up, huh? I thought Titor's time machine was bit, was loaded on a Chevy. A Chevy? That's a car, right? Where'd you hear that? The Titor in 2000 said so. 2000? That might be me on a different world line. At least, I haven't been to 2000. I came straight here from 2036. So it was someone else? It's true that Titor never posted in 2000, not on the current world line. It doesn't matter, I can worry about that later. Hmm. What do you know? I press Suzuha for answers, uh, t trapping her between me and the wall so she can't escape. You overheard my conversation with Kudasu, right? Why did you run to the time machine? What were you trying to do? I thought it was my fault. What? Because I neglected my mission, Sin was able to put their plan in motion. Is it true? Suzuha suddenly grabs my shoulders. Is it true that CERN kills Shina Maori? It's true. I, team, I time leap from five hours in the future. Time leaped. So you guys completed your time machine. I need answers. What do you mean it's your fault? Dads. Suzuha bites her lips and looks and looks away. I'll tell you everything. I think you need to know. You and Makase Kudasu. Kudasu? Why Kudasu? Kudasu? But I, I think I'm pronouncing it right, but I don't know. I guess I'll find out if I let Suzuha talk. I guess there's no going back now. Freaking her name is Kudasu. We should head back to the lab. But first, I offer Suzuha my handkerchief. Uh, she looks at me for a second and then takes it and ties it around her bur burned hand. Thank you. Thanks. She could probably see a doctor about her hand, or she should probably see a doctor about her hand, but there's no time for that. Mary's death is approaching. I just hope she's not in too much pain. I wrap a towel around her hand to keep people around us from staring but if it's wrapped in a I don't know. welcome back Okadeen oh Suza sends with you too but when we get to the lab Mayuri and Daru are there for some reason I thought I sent them home Mayuri gives me a ditzy answer when I ask them I really thought we should celebrate the oh you're stupid super phone wave chan so Daru, Kun, and I went shopping. 
I should have known she wouldn't stay away. Kudasu looks as worried as I am. She leans close and whispers into my ear. What do we do? Make absolutely sure Mayori doesn't find out. Kudasu nods sli slightly. Is that going to ruin stuff? I don't know. I would think that I would tell someone that you're... Well, I guess I guess she's going to be like distraught and she's not going to want to do anything if she's going to die. She's going to like sit there and not... That makes sense. Yeah, don't tell her. That's a good idea. How many times do I have to say it? No party. Come on, Okarine. That's no fun. It's not about fun. I glance at Suzuha. She still looks depressed. Suzu-san, are you feeling okay? Suzuha, Christina, I have important matters to discuss. That is why I asked you to leave for the day. Oh, I see, now I see. I read that wrong, but yeah. Maybe she wants to hear too. Um, I think he's serious. But Suzu-san looks sad. Maybe she's worried. Sorry. Suzuha hangs her head and bites her lip. I know she feels responsible for Mayori's death. But how is she related? That's what I'm here to find out. I want Shina Mayori and Hashida Ituru to stay. This concerns them too. If Suzuha says so, then I have no objections. But I quietly pull her aside and remind her not to tell them about Mayori's impending death. Then I quickly explain Suzuha's true identity, that she posted on that channel as John Titor, and the satellite is really a time machine, and that she came from the year 2036. Okay, I guess if we've invented a time machine, I guess there's no... Miraijin It's just, I feel like I would need proof or something. Like, even with my reading Steiner, I don't know why they believe me. We're not playing around here, Dara. What year were you born? 2017. You were born in 2017? That's in seven years. You haven't been born yet, but you're here. Oh, please. Please, someone name their baby. Um, and I, say, I, I know it's it's got to be a common name now. Please, someone do that. That would be the greatest thing in the world. There's no time to deal with Mayuri's confusion. Alright, Suzuha, let's hear it. Well, the gist is what I posted on that channel. I came here from the future, the year 2036. In my time, the world is a dystopia ruled by CERN. There's no war, no conflict, but no freedom either. Dystopia? <laughs> A society where every activity is controlled by the government. In a dystopia, you're not allowed to eat bananas un unless today is banana eating day. If you break that rule, they'll throw you in jail without a trial. That's terrible. Mayushi loves bananas. Forget about the bananas. Seriously, Mayuri. I'm part of the resistance fighting to free humanity from CERN's control. I came fr to the past to change my present. From your point of view, I guess I should stay. I should say the future. Change the future. She doesn't sound like she's joking. Um, what about finding your father? Wasn't that a lie? Or was that a lie? I mean, I guess no. She's just using her father's name. Does that mean it was a lie? No, it's not. CERN is a research institution. They don't have political power. I explained that to John Titor several times online. Online? Wait, don't tell me. You're cutie again and Kamehameha? <laughs> uh, Kudasu turns red and looks away. Titor came forward, so it's only fair that I do too. In that case, I'll come clean too. I was posting under my true name, Hoinkyo. I know. 
Ah, you harmonized. Suzuha frowns. She must not like have anything in common with Kurusu. She clears her throat and continues. CERN is still a research institution in 2036. The world is actually ruled by CERN's secret backers, the Committee of 300. The Committee of 300? They're real? That name was in CERN's top secret documents. When CERN successfully completed the time machine, they became the sole entity with power over the fourth dimension, time. In just two years, they remade the world to serve their purpose. In just two years, but that's only an objective time. I bet CERN's time travelers spent many decades leaping back and forth across history, building the foundation of CERN's rule. That brings us to you, Makase Kurusu. Suzuha glares at Kurusu. In 2036, you're hypothesized as the mother of the time machine. Apothesized? In Japanese, please. Apothesized, as in revered, respected. She keeps using her unusual vocabulary. Or maybe that's normal vocabulary in 2036? I mean, it sounds pretty normal to me. Respected? Huh? I am? In 2010, you pioneer the late time loop technology. Afterwards, you contribute to the development of CERN's time machine. That's what I know about Makase Kurusu. Is that why she treats Kurusu like an enemy? Then, I must be the father of the time machine, right? God damn it. Okabe Rintaro is a terrorist in 2036. You're pretty infamous. <laughs> Whoa. Seriously? I, I'm a terrorist in the future? Isn't that your dream, dude? I help CERN build their time machine? I don't believe it. CERN experiments on people against their will. They're a disgrace to scientists everywhere. I would never collaborate with them. But that's how it is in the future. How did the future me explain herself? We've never met. By 2036, you're already dead. Sorry. Well, that's just great. I don't even make it to 50? In my time, there are two kinds of people. Those who live extremely long lives, and those who die young, under suspicious circumstances. People who act against CERN are erased. They... erased me? Suzuha looks into Kurusu's eyes. For once, she's not glaring at Kurusu. Maybe you were being used by CERN too. Maybe they took your parents hostage and forced you to work on their time machine. No. Does that mean Mama's in danger? Kurusu's mother is in America. It's not terribly difficult to imagine Seren kidnapping her while Kurusu is away. After all, I watched Moeka kill Maori in cold blood. Rounders. What's that? Seren's private army, or something like that. Suzuha nods. On paper, they're an independent technology research firm. In reality, they do the work, dirty work for CERN all over the world. According to Moeka, they have two chief duties. First, to acquire IBM 5100s, the only computers that can access CERN's secret database. Second, to find promising scientists in the field of time travel and force them to cooperate with CERN, or eliminate them if they will not. So, they already exist. I thought they might. In my time, they're our number one enemy. Wait, what? Can we go back? Oh, okay. Dirty work? Does that mean, like, kidnappings and assassinations? Suzuha looks at me with a question in her eyes. I shake my head. In my time, yes, but... I don't think they've reached that, uh, hold on. 
they've reached that level in this time yet. Dara is visibly relieved. Amane-san, you just said most of what you posted as John Taito was true, right? Right. Does that mean you know how the universe works? You claim the Everett Wheeler model, the many worlds interpretation, is correct. That was a lie. Camouflage so that CERN wouldn't target me. If I mix one lie into the truth, then the bad apple spoils the barrel. So you don't know? I do. By 2036, scientists have successfully modeled the structure of the universe. And it's not the many worlds interpretation. Okay, so what is it? Really? Tell me. Attractor fields? Right. I told you by mail, didn't I? What model is that? The universe is made up of world lines and attractor fields. Suzuha walks over to Mayori's sewing table and picks up a ball of red yarn. She holds uh, one end of the yarn and drops the ball to the floor, and then holds about a meter of yarn in front of her face. The universe is this is like this piece of yarn. Countless possible world lines exist, side by side, branching out to infinity. From a distance, it looks like a single string, but when you look closer, the string is actually made up of individual threads woven together. At the end, those threads converge on a single point. The paths are different, but the destination is the same. Isn't that determinism? Uh, I will check what that is. The school of philosophy that states that every predetermined or every event is predetermined by previous events. The past is determined by the present, and uh, the present determines the future. Even though we may think we are acting of our own free will, in truth we are only following a predetermined path. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're, there's nothing we can do to change what's already going to happen. Close. This model is a little looser. You could say it cherry picks from the many worlds interpretation and the Copenhagen interpretation. If all branches lead to the same place, does that mean there's only one world in the end? Exactly. The bundle of world lines that share a point of convergence is called an attractor field. There are also many attractor fields. This string is attractor field alpha. The threads are alpha world lines. Suzuha then cuts... What? Suzuha then cuts lengths of blue, yellow, and white yarn. Blue is beta, yellow is gamma, white is delta. Each is made up of countless beta world lines. Gamma world lines are delta world lines. I'm just trying to understand. So, we're in a string. I'm, I'm just trying to, hold on. Let, let's see if they better explain it here. She twists the different strings together and then stretches them out as one flat, multicolored string. The attractor fields are super positioned like this. In each attractor field, the world lines converge on a different result. They don't inter interact. Each attractor field is independent of the others. Of course, they're all diverged from a common point somewhere in the past, and they will all converge again at some point in the future, but that takes hundreds of years. You can think of attractor fields as very long world lines. Can you compare it to an orgy? Teach me, oh, erotic one. There's no erotic one here. No, he's right. It is like an orgy. Okay. Each heroine's route is the, an attractor field. And the small choices within are individual world lines. But at the end, 
they all enter the true route for the grand ending. The only difference is the length of common parts. God damn it, dude. I'd like to choose the little sister's attractor field. Whatever. You guys are hopeless. Better do something quick. Um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Just ignore them. Let me get this straight. The reason I couldn't save Mayori is that her death is the event upon th which this attractor field converges? But that means... The world really is killing Mayori. But then, isn't it impossible to change the future? It always converges in the end, right? So no matter what you do, the result is the same. That's right. That's why Mayori dies no matter how many times I leap. We have to escape Attractor Field Alpha. Escape? In other words, we're going to jump to a world line in Attractor Field Beta. Okay, so I think I understand what's going on. There's... There's a bunch of different worlds. There's a bunch of different worlds, but and all of them have like the same... They, they change here and there, but they're on the same path. If you jump to a different world completely, um, because all we're doing is time traveling back to the same world. So if we change timelines completely to a different world or a different, you, like, dimension, I guess is what I would call it. A dimension, like a different dimension. And then we time travel in that dimension then we can change shit in that dimension but that dimension's going on so I thought attractor fields couldn't interact yeah that's a good question could it attractor fields are normally separate but if we go to the instant they diverge the instant they diverge is that now I was taught that a major divergence occurs in 2010 this year, an earth-shattering event causes divergence at the attractor field level. The last time such a divergence occurred was in the year 2000, and before that, in 1991. Um, what happened those years? Events that changed the face of the world. Nineteen ninety one was the collapse of the so Soviet Union, right? What happened in two thousand? Two thousand one had the nine eleven attacks. The year two thousand problem. Oh, Y two K. Y two fucking K, really? That was just hype. Nothing happened. That's because the alpha world line we're on represents a world where Y2K didn't it? Motherfucker, what? Wasn't Y2K the, the the theory that like all electronics would like die and because because of that like the world would end or some shit like that or like I, I don't know the specifics obviously I haven't looked it up but I'll have to after this. So in other words there are worlds where it did occur? Isn't it, it's an apocalyptic theory though, right? That brings us to 2010. Did something big happen this year? What else could it be? Suzo looks towards the development room. But the creation of humanity's first time machine? Oh yeah, wow! One more question. He's plowing a hen. Oh, what else could it be besides the creation of humanity's first time machine? Interesting. I guess that's what makes her a scientist. These world lines aren't parallel worlds, are they? So, we're trying to jump to a world line where CERN doesn't rule the world. There's nothing that we can do to stop CERN from ruling the world because the world line is on its own shit right now. So we have to get to a world line where that doesn't happen. Or uh, uh, a dimension where that doesn't happen. 
Changing the past, having a time machine doesn't do anything, really. I mean, we can change it slightly here and there, but our destiny, our like major destination, is going to be the same. So that means CERN will rule the world in this in this dimension. But if we switch to another dimension, it won't happen. Got it. I'm on top of it. A universe exists separate from ours. It is believed that the parallel worlds may be strikingly similar to ours, even containing duplicates of ourselves. That's interesting. No, ultimately, they're just possibilities that exist simultaneously. But then, how do you observe the differences between world lines? Wouldn't you need a god's eye view to do that? Normally, however, Suzuha looks at me. Don't tell me. Reading Steiner. Is that what you call it? Okabe Rintaro. You have the power to observe changes across world lines, correct? Yeah. That's the key. Your power is key to freeing the world from CERN's rule. Not really. I mean, this world's still gonna have it. But we're switching to a world where it doesn't happen. You have the power of a god. My power. If you escape Attractor Field Alpha and reach a beta world line, then the result will change. I feel a shiver excitement of excitement. So there's hope. I can save Maori. Suzuha nods firmly. Then I must do it. I have no choice, but how? Like, what's the... Wait a second. How do you jump world lines? If it's converging right now, then we have to figure out how to get to the other world line. However, Kudusu, however, is not so enthusiastic. How do we know all this is true? If what Amane-san is... What if Amane-san is making stuff up? What? I'm not making this stuff up. Calm down. I'm not trying to pick a fight. But I still have questions. One, how do you know about Okabe's power? Two, how did you know Okabe and I were in Akihabara in 2010? Don't you know a little too much for someone born in 2017? She has a point. Everyone looks to Suzuha. It was written in Dad's will. His will? What do you mean? His will was what made me decide to time travel. My dad was one of the founding members of the Resistance. He hid from CERN and researched time travel on his own. He wanted to change the future. But CERN killed him. That's why I'm here, to fulfill his dream. I'm sorry. Suzuha doesn't look at Kudusu. She still seems to have a grudge against her. Kudusu would never co uh, actively cooperate with CERN. I know that, but I can't just say that in front of Suzuha. Hmm. For some reason, Suzuha really does see Kudusu as responsible for the problems of the future. But if that's the case, why doesn't Suzuha just kill Kudusu? Wouldn't that change the future too? Yeah, that's an interesting question. What happens if we just go kish, 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 and shoot everybody? I know it sounds pretty morbid, right? Like everybody's shot, but like what happens? Maybe she can't. World lines converge. Maybe she can't. She can't. No matter how hard I struggle, Maori dies. Similarly, it may be impossible for Suzuha to kill Kudusu, no matter how much she may want to. Suzuha clears her throat as if to change the subject. Akibara in 2010. The time machine created here accelerates CERN's own time machine research. We have to stop that from happening in order to guide the history to a new direction. Stop it. How? CERN already knows about us. That's clear from Moika's attack. Dad believed that the ultimate cause was the very first email you sent with your time machine. An email? It wasn't because they caught us hacking? Like I said, nobody can catch my hack. Which email are you talking about? 
Um, I know. Wasn't it the email Okadine sent to... Sent that said Chris Chan died? That's right. I sent... Oh, yeah. Right after Dr. Ma... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Oh, that. Back then, we hadn't realized that the phone wave named Subject Exchange was a time machine. CERN probably intercepted that email and realized what it meant. They were already on to us back then? Wait, Kurusu already died. That's another thing. She died in a world line. So she can die. I don't know. Come to think of it, the first time I met Moeka was the day after I sent that email. We really just jumped in the deep end, huh? Maybe she's good at the breaststroke. Alright, then do a sexy underwear pose. But how did they intercept our email? Hundreds of millions of emails are sent through the world each day, around the world each day. CERN uses the Echelon to collect communications pertaining to the time travel research world line? What is that? According to conspiracy theorists, Estelon is an advanced signals interception system based in the United States and operated by the National Security Agency. Uh, however, American authorities have never publicly admitted to the Echelon's existence, and there is no proof that it had ever been found. Participating countries allegedly include United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, but not France. As an ally of the United States, Japan can allow the construction of domestic... The elephant in the cage base in Amori, Japan, is rumored to be one such station. Uh -oh. So it's an interception network. Echelon, e Echelon really exists, or Echelon? As an expert on conspiracies, I understand the implications, and they terrify me. And no one else seems to get what Suzu is saying, though. Echelon sees everything. Any transmission that ever or even hints at time travel is filtered and sent to CERN. Huh. For example, an email that appeared to have come from the future. We need to find it and record. We need to f we need to find the record of that email in CERN's database and delete it. If you do that, CERN will never know you exist and their time machine won't be completed until 2034. If we're lucky, the program may shut down entirely. In other words, deleting the data that will take us will take us to the attractor field where CERN doesn't build the time machine. Attractor fields are dimensions, by the way. I, that's, what, that's what I'm getting from this. Hmm, there wasn't any data like that when we hacked CERN's database. The IBN 5100. Oh, of course, CERN's IBN 5100 database. That's probably where they store the data from Echelon. So that's what it is. Damn it, Daru. Why didn't we use the IBN 5100 earlier? Uh, we never had one? What are you talking about? I got one, remember? It was a different world line, dude. Huh? A different time timeline. Yeah. It was on a different world line. On this world line, I never find an IBM 5100. My mission is to make sure you acquire an IBM 5100. You have one? She just shakes her head. I'm going to 1975 to obtain one. The year 1975? The year IBM 5100 went to market. I know because John Titor in 2000 said this was that was his mission. Was that John Titor Suzuha too? Anyway, if Suzuha can get us an IBM 5100, then we can leave this attractor field and jump to the beta to a beta world line where Sir never finds us and their time machine is never completed. Mayori won't have to die. Yes. All right, we need to move fast. How soon can you leave, Suzuha? I was trying to leave when you caught me, but... Suzuha bows her head apologetically. I look at Daru's, er, I look at her burnt hand. 
She's hiding it from Maori and Daru, but I can see the blood staining my handkerchief. It hurts to look at. Maybe we should get her to a doctor. Right. Your time machine's broken. Can you fix it? No. I just tried it. My dad's the one who built it. I've memorized the manual, so I know how it works, but... That doesn't mean she knows how to repair it, and there's no guarantee that a time machine from 2036 can be repaired with today's technology. Maybe we can use the time loop machine to go back before Amine-san's time machine broke. Wasn't there a world line where the, it didn't break, it was just on top of the roof? Wait, you're going to use the time loop machine? Uh, wasn't the plan not to experiment? I still haven't told Daru about my time looping. There's no time to explain. We'll use it if the situation demands. Do you know when it broke, Suzuha? No. But it was probably in the, it was probably the rain a few days ago. It's supposed to be airtight, but the inside was all wet when I checked it today. Maybe it made a hole when you crashed into Radikan? That wasn't a crash. The coordinates were slightly off, so it just appeared there. It's not exactly the most stable time machine. There was a time machine thing where it was on top of the roof though. At the very beginning of the game there was a time machine that was on top of a roof and I thought it was Dr. Nakabashi's time machine, but it turned out to be her time machine. Anyone remember when it rained? The morning of the 10th, just before dawn. The time loop machine can only cover 48 hours in a single leap. And the time wave machine was completed today, so, or the 13th at 2 p.m. That means we can't go far, farther back than 2 p.m. on the 11th. Damn, we can't get there with the time wave machine. I thought we had a glimmer of hope. I think we should try and fix it. Yeah, it's a time machine, so we have plenty of time, right? Dots. Dots. Kudasu Suzuha and I say nothing. We know. In less than two hours, Maori will die. It's already 5.30. There's barely enough time to sneak into Radikan, let alone fix Suzuha's time machine. Maybe I should, t should leap now to 2 p.m. on the 11th. Then we'll have two full days to fix the time mach or fix the machine. Minna. You're all hungry, aren't you? You should be. What's this all of a sudden? Maybe she's hungry. As expected from a glutton. I take a 10,000 yen bill out of my wallet. Mayuri, Daru. I leave the shopping to you. We can come up with a plan while we eat. Wow, Okadin. What are we going to do with all this money? Buy food. Lots of food. Use it all. You just calmly handed over a 10,000 yen bill. Wow, Okarin. You make it look easy. That's why we love you. That's why we admire you. Mary and Dari leave in high spirits. I knew the 10,000 yen bill would work. Christina. Taitor. Taitor? Is that me? Who else? Why are you calling me that now? Because you're the one behind Taitor's mask. Well, yeah, but... Just give up. Okabe rarely calls anyone by their name. Oh, yeah? He always calls me part-time warrior for some reason. Listen, you two. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave to 2 p.m. on the 11th. After Taitor explains herself again, we'll start on repairs on the time machine. Our goal is to have it working by this time today. Is that the best plan? It's better than trying to fix it when we only have two hours left. If it doesn't work, I'll just keep repeating the same two days. I'm sorry. Taitor, we're counting on you to get us an IBN 5100. Never forget, I'm doing this for you. I'm not doing it for the future. And my mission is to save Maori. Call me self-righteous if you want, however. 
I'm doing this my way. Kurisu and Suzuha gives me an encouraging nod in agreement. Good. Then let's begin. You're not going to name the operation? Who cares about that? This isn't a game. Memory's life hangs in the balance. God damn it. You couldn't find a Norse mythology themed name? Or a good Norse mythology? Why Norse mythology? I don't think there's a deep meaning behind it. Junibio patients just love Germanic names for some reason. Now that you mention it, most of the operations names in the Resistance have Germanic names too. Whenever I ask, they just say it's tradition. So there's still Chunibyo in 2036. Cut the chatter. Mary's life hangs in the balance. God damn it. There's no time for this nonsense. Kurusu sets up the time loop machine while Suzuha goes to turn on the 42 inch CRT. Well before Mayori returns, I leap. <sighs> Alright. I gotta end the episode here. So we're not. So, okay. There's a couple things that I have a problem with uh, going forward. Uh, first thing. When I come to, I'm standing with my phone in my hand. So there's a couple things. Uh, we're not going to have the time loop machine, which means we can't leap back. Uh, so whatever we do here, uh, see, there's a problem, right? Like if we're work, if we're going to spend all our time working on Susan's time machine, we're never going to complete the actual time leap machine. So we'll never be able to leap back. But if we manage to fix Susan has time machine, then we can leap back. But if we don't, then we don't fix it. And we don't have the time leap machine because we spent all the time trying to fix Suza has time machine. Unless we dedicate Kudasu to working on the time machine, and then me and Suzuha are the only ones that are working on Suzuha's time machine. I don't know. Because if we all work on Suzuha's time machine, we're not going to complete the time leap machine, which means if CERN comes to get us, there's no way we can leap back. That's my concern. I got to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you feel necessary. And I hope you guys are having the best, if not the greatest, rest of your day. Peace out, you guys.